Hey guys, it's Pastor Sam and Johnny Bone. Hey kids, it's Pastor Sam and Johnny Bone. Johnny Bones? Is that you? Are you hungry? that there's actually a name for the sound of your stomach rumbling? It's called borborygmus. It's onomatopoeia, which means the word sounds like what it's describing. So borborygmus sounds like the sound of your tummy grumbling. You hear this sound when your stomach is hungry because even though your stomach muscles are always moving food and air and liquid through it, it gets a lot louder when it's empty. But how exactly does our digestive system work? How does food go from what it is to something that nourishes our bodies? We're gonna do a little experiment today that shows us how our digestive system works. To do this, all you'll need are a potato masher, a bowl and water, and bread or banana. You can use a little funnel and a Ziploc, some food coloring gloves, vinegar, a tray, and the end of a nylon stocking. Digestion starts before you ever take a bite of food. When you think of or smell something yummy, your mouth waters with saliva. And that has an enzyme called amylase, which helps break down your food. When you chew, you mash up that food with your saliva and it helps to become a lot smaller so that your stomach can digest it. Once your food is chewed, it goes into your stomach, which is gonna be represented by our Ziploc bag. But first, it passes through the esophagus. This is just a funnel. Our esophagus is much longer than this, and it's made out of muscles that squeeze your food all the way down to your tummy. Once your food is in your stomach, it comes into contact with hydrochloric acid, which is our stomach acid. Our stomach acid is very powerful, just a little bit less strong than battery acid. Instead of using those acids, we're gonna use some white vinegar to show what the acid does to our food. Once we've combined the food and the vinegar, we're gonna squeeze all the air out of the bag and then see how the stomach digests. Ew, that doesn't look too good, does it? But everything that we eat goes into our stomach, combines with the acid, and our stomach acts like a big mixer, squishing and churning everything that's inside to make it as little as possible. All those muscles in our stomach wall help to process all of this food, and the hydrochloric acid, which is our stomach acid, helps to get rid of all of the bacteria that might make us sick. Yuck! I'm glad we can't see our food after it's been in our stomach very often. Once it's done there, the food actually goes into your small intestine. But as your stomach releases the food into your small intestine, your liver actually releases something called bile. And bile helps your stomach break down the fats in all of that food so that you can digest it better. And then your pancreas also releases enzymes that also help your body break down that food so you can absorb it in all the ways that you need. As we see a demonstration of how our stomach releases its contents to our small intestine, you might wanna wear gloves in case this part gets messy. After your stomach has done its thing, it does release the contents into your small intestine. And your small intestine is anything but small. It's about 22 feet long. So it squishes all of that into your little stomach space. Take your stomach and cut a little hole in the end and then release it into your stocking leg. Inside the small intestine, that bile which helps protect the small intestine from the acid and all of those other enzymes help to break down the food. And when all of those nutrients, all the good stuff that's in the food is in the small intestine, it comes out the walls of the small intestine just like this. 
and it goes into the bloodstream, which is represented by our red tray, and our blood takes it all throughout our body to all the places in our bodies that need the nutrients, all of those cells in our body. After our small intestine takes everything that our body needs, everything else goes into our large intestine, where all the water is taken out for our body and everything else comes out as waste. This is a really fun, but pretty gross, way to learn how our digestive systems work. It also reminds me how important it is to fill our bodies with good food. If we want our bodies to be strong and our digestive systems to work well, we have to fill it with good stuff. When we fill it with food that isn't too good for us, it makes our digestive system go slower, which makes us feel more sluggish and tired, and it doesn't have the nutrients that keep our bodies strong. Filling our tummies with good food is very important. And even more important is what we fill our hearts and our minds with. And the best news is, in the Bible, in Ephesians 5.18, it tells us that we can be filled with the Holy Spirit. So instead of having thoughts about fear and about anxiety and worry, we can actually ask God to replace that with the presence of the Holy Spirit who gives us comfort and joy and peace and teaches us which ways we should go. I hope that this reminds you every day to fill your tummies with good food, but more importantly, to be filled with the Holy Spirit so that you can have all the power you need to be incredible you.